Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can use the function for simple interest on the Casio FX 9750 G3 calculator. To do that we'll use the shift key that looks like this located here, the menu key that looks like this located here, and the F1 and F2 keys that look like this located here. Simple interest is generally an easy calculation to do, but there is an app for it on this calculator. To get there, we press the menu key so that we're at the main menu, and then we want to scroll down to the TVM option here. So we scroll over and down till it's highlighted, and then we press the EXE key. That brings us to the financial menu here, and since we're doing simple interest, we press F1. We can check our setup for this function by pressing shift menu with the shift function of setup to see this screen here. We see our payment is set to end. Our date mode is set to 365. We have the option of either a 365 or 360 day year. Our pay periods is set to annual as well as a number of other options that we don't need to worry about for this example. Since we don't need to change anything here, we can hit exit. Now we can go ahead and do our calculation. So our first example will be, what is $2,000 invested for one year at 2% annual interest? Our first variable here is n, which for simple interest is the number of days. For our first example, we're doing one year, so we'll enter 365, hit EXE, and now we're at I% percent or interest percent. Well, we're doing 2% interest, so we'll hit 2, EXE, and then PV, or present value. That's the amount that we're putting in initially. So that's $2,000. And when we enter this, we want to set it as a negative because that money's coming out of our pocket into the account. So we press negative 2000. There we go. EXE. And we have all our data entered. All right, let's see what we get. We have SI or simple interest. So we press F1. We see simple interest earned ends up being $40. To go back, we hit the F1 key, or REPT. We can also see the total final value, or the SFV, or simple final value, by pressing F2. And see, we get 2,040. So our total value at the end is $2,040. What if we have it invested for five years? Well, if we scroll back up to the top, we need to set n to 5 years. To do that, we can go 365 for a year times 5 and hit EXE. And you'll see it does that for us. And then our interest and present value or initial value all stay the same. And now if we check our simple interest with F1, we see we get a simple interest of $200. And if we check our simple final value after five years, we end up with a final value of $2,200. All right, I hope this helps and good luck on those tests out there, everybody.